Okay? All right. So just a few words about Tsigun, because I think it's time for us to incorporate one of the most powerful healing. It actually also belongs to the martial arts system, but Tsigun is a really foundational thing. It's very close related to the philosophy uh, of Taoism and uh, you, you, look, everything what is kind of have a, as a basic in, in Tai Chi Chuan actually came from Qigong. Qigong is it's an older version of And Qigong uh, has a thousand of styles, really. It's, it's an enormous uh, area of expertise and knowledge. But we are going to make, my task is to make it as simple as possible. And we are going to start with the basic, basic uh, exercises of Qigong. So we'll be doing it literally two, three, five minutes in the beginning of each training. And the idea is, uh, again, to put it in the simple words, it's like this. Uh, in order to have a success with the Qigong, we need to embrace the uh, like a foundational philosophy of, uh, of the Chinese kind of uh, approach to life. They, they are holistic. So they believe that our body is connected very much in terms of energy with all surroundings. And uh, inside of our body, not, not uh, like every organ is, is a part of the whole system. So they'll never really treat any particular organ. They also always look in the, the body as the whole system, and they look body in relation to other bigger systems. Yeah. So that, as a result, they talk every, all the time about energy flow. And if sickness, if, if there is a sickness take place, it's an energy uh, imbalance or, or unbalance situation. Yeah. So the whole healing process is balancing energy back. So all exercises of Qigong is energy-related exercises. And uh, what we will start with, we will start with pointing our attention to inside. And we will start to finally, kind of what human, like what uh, modern people are not doing is like acknowledging how do we feel, where do we feel it, where, where the energy is right now, where your attention is in the body. So we'll be practicing bringing our attention to the body. That's going to be our first basic, basic steps. I will not be loading you with the meridians, with all that kind of complications and all those metal water kind of which also belong to the you know, healing and qi system, yeah, qigong. We'll start just pointing our attention to the body and feeling mainly we'll be focusing on dantian, yeah. Two, uh, two inches below your navel and we will be doing exercise, one of the exercises like harmonizing the energy and uh, males they will place right hand on the area of Dantian and the left one above, females, girls you will make left hand first and right hand above, so that's the only difference, all other things are the same. And uh, you could, yeah, it, we will, I will explain the details, but the first exercise we'll be doing is actually for pointing both, both hands touching your dantian. Some systems say don't touch, some systems say not just touch, but actually uh, rubbing it. So it doesn't matter. Right now we just place it gently and our attention is going to be on the dantian. Yeah. So what, what will happen? Yeah, first of all, I would like you to, to bend your knees a little bit, a little bit. So what do I mean by a little bit? If you bend it too much, you, you, you need to use muscles in order to stay. Yeah? It's, it's, you already feel like muscle work. And like higher, 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 like almost, you almost don't use muscles. Practically, I can relax my muscles, but, but my, my, my knees are bended. That's actually very interesting equilibrium. It's bended but you can have still relaxed muscles. That's a right bending. So when you go lower, no, now you already need to use it. You see that if you go a little bit lower, you cannot uh, relax it anymore, yeah? So it's actually already, so up, 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 up. Okay, now it's still bended, but already relaxed. That's your position in, in a standing Qigong. Yeah? Yeah. So you, you breathe, Naturally, again, you are not accelerating, you are not, you are not doing anything in order to change your breathing. You just pay attention how you breathe. And slowly, 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 uh, the way you will be more progressing, you will be pushing a little bit, you, you will make your breathing a little bit more deliberate. 
not changing the speed, but a little bit more deliberate. So if you breathe in, you're pushing just a little bit more than usually you do. Your belly going more out, like more relaxed, yeah? You're almost like relaxed, yeah? When you breathe out, you, you make a little bit more in than you usually do. So as a result, you are exaggerating a little bit how you use your muscles, yeah? More relaxed than usual, more a little bit tense than usual when you breathe yeah, out. Breathe in, and, and you release your hands as well. It's almost like your hands are in tune with the low, lower part of your belly. Yeah? And breathe out, in, out, in. You could almost close your eyes and out. In and out. Now when you breathe in, imagine that all your body, all your skin can actually uh, 